What is up you guys, I'll be back from our video and today I'm going to be doing something a little different and that is a review of a game. Uh, so yeah, obviously I review other stuff but I've never re reviewed a game before, I've done you know, gameplay stuff but not a review. But uh, I'm doing that today with the brand new Sonic X Shadow Generations. So yeah, let's get into this shall we? So of course Sonic X Shadow Generations is a remaster but it's also a new game for you know sonic generations obviously there's two different parts to it there's the remastered part of sonic generations that came out in 2011 i think and then there's shadow generations which is a whole new thing you can play and i actually never played the original sonic generations even though i'm big i'm a big sonic fan as you, you can tell probably i never got around to sonic generations unfortunately it's been one i've wanted to play for a while but i don't know just haven't gotten around to it um so when they when there were rumors, at least, that there was going to be a remastered, I was like, okay, that sounds cool. And then they revealed it was going to be Sonic X Shadow Generations, and I got really excited. I thought it was a great idea to do a remaster, and all, but also to add some new stuff to, you know, the game. Uh, after playing both of them, I gotta say, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Now, I'm going to be talking about the Sonic Generations part first, and then we'll get into the Shadow stuff. As far as the Sonic Generations side of things... Um, I really enjoyed it. I think it was a lot of fun playing as both Modern Sonic and Classic Sonic, especially compared to, um, Sonic Forces, where Classic Sonic was a pain in the ass to play as, and again, that whole game was kind of ass to play, yeah, obviously, let's be real, this, this whole game alone beats Sonic Forces by, like, infinite numbers, and infinite was a, yeah, whatever, whatever. But yeah, playing as both Sonics was pretty fun. I think the story they were telling was actually pretty solid, you know, and a lot of the boss fights were fun to play and just it was a fun game to play and i liked a lot of the maps we got especially of you know obviously older maps we get we get like older maps from older games and both the sonic side and the shadow side um and obviously one of my favorites was the city escape one because i freaking love sonic adventure 2 that is the game that got me into sonic so you know replaying that and with the sonic adventure skin because i got to redeem that uh that skin was so much fun um, and I just had a fun time playing it. That's, I, I don't know how else to put it, but I just, you know, I had a lot of fun playing it. And, um, as far as the differences they made, cause I did watch like a comparison video of like the differences from the original Sonic Generations to this new one. Um, as far as I feel on, the, on those, I don't really care to be honest. Like I know, cause let's see, they changed, they, they, they changed some of the dialogue. I do think the only one I think they, that was, they shouldn't have done was obviously where like Knuckles, or any original he calls classic Sonic like that he's wide and he like you know, looks at his stomach, but then in this one he says like oh where's my eye one? But then classic Sonic still looks at his stomach like implying that he like ate it or something, stuff like that. I feel like they should have either you know like changed more so it lined up better with what they were saying, or just keep it how it was in the original. Um, obviously there's the thing with Rouge, the um you know pulling up her armor a bit more which. Let's be honest, that's all they're going to do with Rouge from here on out is, you know, censoring her. <laughs> um, hell, they even, they even covered her back. Well, okay, I will say, I think that one's kind of weird. That they, they had covered her back up, for like, you know, before, like, like the top part of her back was showing. Now they've covered that up. But so, but now, like, when you see the back of her, her wings are literally clipping through her armor. It's like, it's not coming out of her armor now. It's literally just clipping through. I do think that one's a little weird. Um, but I think, I still think overall the changes were fine, you know, I was fine with it, and obviously there was some stuff with, like, Amy, specifically that, at the beginning, where she's, like, in the original, she's trying to, like, hug Sonic or something, he's holding her back, um, I mean, that was, that is, I'd say that was more funny, but I also don't mind the cupcake one they added, um, so, yeah, so, Sonic Generations, I had a lot of fun with it, I think it is a really good Sonic game, and I had, I had fun playing it, and I will definitely play it again. Now, let's get on to the Shadow side of stuff. So, uh, if you guys can't tell, Shadow is by far my favorite Sonic character. Maybe you couldn't tell, but he is. So, of course, I was really excited about uh, his side of the story in this game. And um, I was I, I was especially curious to see how I was going to go in the uh, Sonic Generations part. Because, obviously, so Shadow is in a little bit of the Shadow so, uh, Sonic, my bad. The Sonic Generations story, obviously, you have the Chaos Emerald mission. That you have to fight him in or race him in. And then he's, you know, there at the very end. So, um, 
I mean, I think they might have like kind of. I think we were explaining the intros and all that, but still, I was, I was, I was, I was getting even more curious while playing Song Generations. Like, okay, how are they going to pull this off? And I think they pulled it off great. I loved Shadow Generations. Okay, I, I think I prefer over uh, Song Generations, and I'm not just saying that because you know I love Shadow. Like, I mean, I mean for real. Like, I'm not saying Shadow Generations is perfect, but um, I think it's just because. Because it's obviously, it's a lot about, you know, Shadow's backstory of him, Maria, and Gerald. And, you know, that's, you know, that's that's one of the reasons Shadow's my favorite character is because I love that story. You know, his whole backstory, I love. And so, seeing a little bit of that in here, and not only that, seeing Maria and Gerald come into, like, you know, past versions of himself meeting Shadow, I thought was really nice and pretty, pretty cool. Um... And as far as, like, the gameplay goes, I think it was pretty fun. Obviously, it was about the same as Sonic Generations, but, uh, I mean, with the teleportation added, it was a lot of fun, of course. You know, the um, freezing time was cool, and it was just fun. <laughs> I had a, I had a lot of fun playing this one, and I, I especially liked that it was um, kind of more of a free roam, if that makes sense. Not, obviously, not entirely free roam, but, like, obviously, like, once you finish stages, you have, like, a, like a mini, like, map. You can run around and, you know... Just, do whatever uh so i really do like that about it kind of gave me sonic uh frontiers vibes i think the boss fights in this one were also a lot of fun i'd say they're pretty on par with the sonic generations boss fights um and i, I gotta say that ending i <laughs> i say i'm gonna be honest i teared up at the end i actually teared up like i think that ending scene was great like okay I, got, I was getting emotional in many different parts, you know, just with, like, Maria and Shadow, but the ending especially got to me, because, like, I was, exp I knew it was gonna, I knew it was gonna happen, I knew Maria and Gerald weren't gonna stick around, I knew they were gonna go back to their time, but still, the way the scene played out, I thought was pretty emotional, and I think it was really well handled, and especially, especially, like, the part that really got to me was when, of course, Shadow, you know, was running off. And then you see his tear fall back onto Rouge, you know, showing that he was crying. Like, dude, that fucking got me. That got me. Like, if Shadow cries, I'm gonna cry. Like, so I think the ending was fucking great. Um, so yeah. So honestly, I think I think Shadow Generations, I liked it a bit more. Again, Song Generations was really good. I really enjoyed that. And I'm not just saying I like Shadow Generations more because I like Shadow as a character more, but I. I seriously just, I got, I was, you know, I was getting emotional throughout the story, you know, I feel like I was, I feel like the stakes were a little bit more higher for me, I mean, I, the, technically the stakes were higher in Sonic Generations, obviously, with what was going on there, but, um, but also, but, I mean, to be fair, I did also know about some stuff in Sonic Generations, of course, since it's been out for, like, almost 15 years now, um, but still, overall, Shadow Generations, I loved it. I think it was great, and I am excited to finish the, like, stuff I got in there, because there's still, like, some, like, tech parts and all that, I think it was, I need to, like, collect for characters, and obviously, you know, try to get S ranks in both Sonic Generations and Shadow Generations, so I'm very excited to replay both of these for that reason, so, yeah. So, overall, I think Sonic X Shadow Generations was a great Sonic and Shadow game. I had a lot of fun playing it, and uh, I would recommend you guys playing it for the 50 bucks that it is going for right now, or, or you know, or Chris, you can get the $60 Digital Deluxe Edition, which I have not gotten that yet. I do plan on uh, upgrading to that, specifically for the Sonic Movie 3 package we're getting next month. Um, but yeah, uh, if you like Sonic, I think this is definitely the game for you. I would say you should definitely pick it up. Um, even if you don't like Sonic, I feel like there's, I feel like there's still a chance you could you know, really get into this. So I would definitely recommend you guys buy this game because I thought it was great and I loved it. So yeah, probably one of my favorite Sonic games now, honestly, like like combining both stories, obviously. Because again, there's really two stories to this game, you know, obviously Sonic Generations and Shadow Generations. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great game and I'm excited to see what Sega does next with Sonic remasters. Um, I know... I know people want like Sonic Unleashed remastered. That could be cool. Um, of course, I'm still waiting for Sonic Adventure 2 to be remastered, or at least both Sonic Adventures. But we'll see. We'll see. 
Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it. Uh, uh, if you guys have played the game already, let me know what you thought of it in the comments. And um, yeah, as always, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.